Hello, today I'm going to read I Miss You Stinky Face, written by Lisa McCourt. I miss you, my little stinky face, said Mama on the phone, but I had one question. Mama, do you miss me so much that you're coming right home to me no matter what? I'm coming today, said Mama, on a big silver airplane. But Mama, but Mama, what if the airplane forgets how to fly? If that airplane forgets how to fly, I'll hop in the basket of a hot air balloon. I'll soar past the clouds and stars until I see your window. Then I'll float right into your room. But Mama, what if the balloon runs out of the air, of hot air, and you have to land in the middle of the desert? If I have to land in the middle of the desert, I'll climb up on a camel and ride him like a racehorse all the way home. But, Mama, but, Mama, what if the camels get so tired that he just won't take another step and he leaves you stranded in the jungle? <laughs> then I'll search that jungle for a cheetah. Fastest animal there is, I'll jump on her back and she'll race me straight home to you. But, Mama, what if the cheetah doesn't want to leave the jungle? If the cheetah doesn't want to leave the jungle, I'll hunt down some pirates digging for buried treasure and ask them to sail me home so you, to you on their big, scary ship. Mama, what if the terrible pirates make you walk the gangplank? Then I'll find the speediest shark in the ocean. I'll grab onto his fin and use it to steer, and we'll skim through the high seas all the way home to you. But Mama, what if the shark wants to nibble you into a million tiny pieces? If the shark tries that, I'll leap from his greedy jaws and body surf to shore. I'll call the bravest astronauts and hitch a ride on their supersonic spaceship, and we'll all be home to you faster than the speed of light. But, Mama, what if their spaceship gets sucked through a black hole and takes you far back in time to a big old castle instead of to our house? What an imagination. <laughs> If the spaceship lands that far back in time, I'll look around for a magic dragon. I'll climb way up on her back and whisper in her ear just how much I miss you. The magic dragon will fly me through time right back to you. But, Mama, where would such a big magic dragon land? I think there's enough room on the driveway if you make sure your bike's put away. I'll put it away, but Mama, the airplane is how you're probably coming home, right? Probably. I miss you, Mama, and I miss you, my little stinky face. Thank you. The end. Bye-bye.